Hi guys, welcome back to Pilates with Miti. Uh, today I have prepared another full body workout and it's going to last more or less 30 minutes. So whenever you're ready, unroll your mat and join me on it. We're going to start in a standing position. I think now you understood that I really like to stand uh, as a warm up because I really believe that it gets some blood flowing and we get a bit warmer. So we stand nice and tall. We have the hips in one line with our knees in one line with our ankles. And we're going to start by looking in one direction and then we can drop the chin down to go all the way towards the other side. We're going to repeat again. We drop the chin down, we go all the way to the other side. Just a few more times just to release the neck from any tension and feel the heaviness of your head dropping in the front and changing side and again we drop the chin down and we change side and drop and look at the opposite side only two more times and this is our last one and we can find gently the center again Good guys, from here we just want to take a few rolls with the shoulders to the back and backwards and backwards again. Focusing on warming up the joints of the shoulders. Nice. And then from here we can reverse, we can come from to the front and again front. And just two more times. And one last time. Good, guys. Now from here, position your hands facing the ceiling with the palms and attaching them towards your hips. On the next inhale, we're going to stretch the elbows. Exhaling, we press towards us. And again, breathing in. Exhaling, we squeeze. Nice. Leave the shoulders down there. So avoid bringing them up with you. So just leave them relaxed the whole time. And five more. And stretch and collect. Only three more times. And two more to go. And one last time. Nice guys, and we can release the position. I'm going to ask you now to open gently your legs to the side. You can extra rotate your feet slightly if you feel more comfortable. And we just grab the back of our head. Collect the elbows slightly towards the front, shoulders down. On our next inhale, we're going to squat down, bending both knees. Exhaling, let go of one arm that drops to the side when you're bending to the side. We're going to collect back, breathing in, exhaling, we stretch. And again, on the same side. And we bend. And exhaling, we are going to stretch the knees. And breathing in, collecting, exhaling, stretching the knees. Three more. Good, guys, keep on going. And stretching the knees. Last two, we go down. We bend and we come back, keeping the pelvis right there the whole time. And bend and we find the center and we stretch. Good, guys. From here, keeping the arms right there, rotate to the side. I'm going to ask you to lean front on the supporting leg, stretching the back one and stretching the arms to the front. From here, we start simply alternating right, left, right, left, right, left, really quick, starting from the shoulders, keeping the core strong here, only 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, even faster, and 1. Good, guys, let go of the position, stretch the leg, and gently we're going to roll down for a moment, releasing any tension. Take a nice deep breath. And 
and gently we're going to bend the knees and we're going to unroll in a standing position and we can just go back to the center now we're going to repeat on the other side so please collect again the hands in the back of your head on the next inhale we're going to squat down exhaling let go of the other arm bending to the side breathing in we collect exhaling we stretch and if you want you can go a little bit lower in your squat position keeping the pelvis still and stable so each time that we are bending to the side we leave the pelvis where it is and center and stretch three more And each time that we're going down in the squat, think about even growing higher and down and coming back. We are going to stretch. This is our last one. And we find the center and we stretch. Nice guys, leave your arms right there. Rotate simply to the side. We are going to lean in the front leg, stretching the back one. We are going to stretch both arms to the front and we start alternating the arms. Starting from the shoulders, only 10, nine, eight, keep the core strong, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good guys, let go of your arms, stretch the leg. And from here, we can gently roll down, starting from the top of the head. And we can stretch for a moment here. From this position, we're gently leaning to the front, positioning all the weight on the hands and we're going to stretch one leg after the other one in a nice plank. And from this position, relax your knees down, release the feet in the back and with a push up, we're just going to find our mat. Nice guys. Now the whole time that we're on the floor, on the belly, we want to tuck just gently the tailbone under ourselves and the belly button is pushing in. So we're very active on the ground. From here, I'm going to ask you to collect your hands in the back of your neck. On your next inhale, we're going to lift the chest off the ground, keeping the core strong. Exhaling, we want to bend to the side, going to the left side, stretching the left arm and we can look to the left side. Breathing in, we collect to the center. Exhaling, we find the mat. Breathing in on the other side. We're going to bend to the side, breathing out, stretching the right arm. We find the center and we go down. We repeat, breathing in up. Exhaling, rotating and we find the center and we go down three more times, breathing in and bending to the side, stretching the arm, finding the center, and we go down on the mat. Two more. And. This is our last one, we come up, and stretching the arm, and we find the center, and we go down. Good guys, position now the forehead, on your hands, shoulders down. We're going to start working with the legs in this moment. So on the next exhale, slide and lift your right leg up from the floor, breathing in, it wants to go down again. Breathing out, we want to slide and lift the left leg now. And breathing in, we go down. And again, keep on alternating the legs and make sure that before lifting the leg, we're lengthening it first. So that's why I said sliding it. So we really have the feeling of lengthening and lifting as a consequence. And slide and lift, keeping the core strong and down. Good. Four more. And only two more times guys, slide and lift, controlling the movement, it doesn't have to be so big. This is our last one, and down, 
Nice, guys. Now we're going to combine the two previous exercises together. So please collect again the hands in the back of your head. On your next inhale, we're going to lift the chest off the ground. With the next exhale, we're going to bend to the side, to the left, stretching the left arm and lifting the right leg. Breathing in, we find the center, lowering the right leg down, and then we find the mat. On the other side, breathing in, lift the chest off the ground. Exhaling, stretch your right, right arm and lifting the left foot. And we find the center and we go down. And again, breathing in. And we find the other side. And we find the center and we go down. I know this is a little bit strange for the coordination, but once you get it, it's pretty satisfying. And we find the center, we go down two more times, breathing in and then out and center. We are going down, we go up for the last time and rotate, lifting the left leg and we find the center and we go down. Nice guys, push the mat far away with your hands and we can just stretch down here for a moment. Gently, we're going to collect the hands closer to the knees and we're going to start unrolling the spine one vertebra after the other one to sit on the heels. Good guys. From here, I'm going to ask you to come off on your knees. Make sure that more or less your knees are hip distance apart so that we're more stable. Now from here, I'm going to ask you to squat down, reaching forward with your arms. And with the next exhale, we push to the back with the arms coming up with the torso. Breathing in, we lean forward, exhaling, we push to the back. Just a few more times, breathing in and out. Keeping the core strong, lengthening the back each time that we're going down into the squat position and we push to the back four more and last two with our last one i'm going to stay down there now from here like we did in the warm-up we start alternating right left right left right left really fast really quick if you want to you can also lower yourself even more keeping the core strong we can look into the diagonal and we stay here for five four even faster three two and one good guys lower your hands down on the ground we're going to cross the feet in the back and very gently we walk backwards to sit on the pelvis stretching the legs forward and we can find the center of our mat now Whew. we can catch our breath for a moment and we're going to just release a bit of tension from the back now so i'm going to ask you to sit up here if you feel that you have any tension in the lower back in this position you can maybe distance your feet a little bit more far from the pelvis and we can flex them this should help releasing a bit of tension in the lower back. Now from here, we can collect the hands in the back of the neck again. On the next exhale, we're going to melt the head, the neck, the shoulders, rounding the dorsal part of the back to the front. On the next inhale, we're going to shoot to the front with the elbows, lengthening the spine and coming up to the center 
we repeat. Breathing out, guide the movement starting from the elbows, rounding the spine. Breathing in, shoot to the front, lengthening the spine and coming up. And again, breathing out, try to roll down only with the dorsal part of your back. Breathing in, we lengthen to the front and we come up. And again, breathing out. And breathing in, shoot to the front, guiding the movement with your elbows and coming up. Shoulders down. Two more. And. And one last time. And breathing in, we lengthen and we come up again. Good, guys. So we're going to collect now the hands in the back of our knees. We can let go of the feet. And gently, I'm going to start unrolling my spine down on the ground, collecting the feet just a little bit closer to my pelvis. Nice. Now, from here, I'm going to let go of my hands just along my body and I collect my feet in a tabletop position. I'm going to extra rotate from the hips so I'm in a little diamond shape. On the next exhale, keeping the neutral spine there, so a bit of space between the lower back and the mat, I'm going to tap the floor down with one foot. Breathing in, we collect up. Exhaling, we tap with the other one. Breathing in, we come up. On the next exhale, passing from the imprint, so scoop the belly button in, we are going to push up and we find the mat again. Breathing out, we tap down, inhaling, we collect. Exhaling, we tap down, inhaling, we collect. Now, starting from pushing in the belly button, we come up off the floor and down. Four more. Here we are in the neutral position and tap down and up here. We are going to pass through the imprint and we lift the pelvis off the floor and down. Three more times and tap and up and and up. Now scoop under the pelvis, lift it off the ground and down. Two more times. And and up. Now lift your pelvis off the ground and find the center. This is our last one. And and for the last time, lift the pelvis up and find the center, maybe collect your knees towards you. And just take a nice deep breath in. Maybe we can just draw some nice big circles with the knees to release a bit of tension. And then if you want, we can also try to change the direction of our circles on the other side. <clears throat> and slowly we're going to find our center from this position. Just release the feet on the ground and we're going to rotate on the side of our body. Good. You can keep if you want your arms stretched or if you prefer like me, you can also collect it under your head. Just make sure that your head is just relaxed, that is resting gently on your arm. The rib cage is off the floor the whole time, so we're very active in our core. And we're going to position this hand here just to be more stable. I'm going to ask you to stretch both legs to the side and on the next exhale, we're going to lift them up. Breathing in, we position them down. Exhaling, we come up. Breathing in, we go down. Just a few more. And down. Keeping the ribcage off the ground the whole time. And. Nice, guys. With the last exhale, stay up with your legs. Breathing out, we're going to open one leg to the front, one leg to the back. Breathing in, we collect to the center. We switch side, open and close. 
exiting open and close making sure that the more we're opening to the front the more we have to open to the back so make sure that maybe at first you can make the movement a bit tinier it doesn't have to be so big just try to control the pelvis as much as you can keeping the core strong and this is our last one we are going to switch and closing the legs good rest your legs down and we can just collect the legs pushing the mat far away from this position we can just take a nice deep breath in lengthening the side of the back and with the next exhale we can gently lean down again just three more times to stretch all the side of the body that was working a lot and we find the center and again breathing in and out this is our last one we're going to breathe in drawing a nice big rainbow and then out good guys nice we're going to stretch the legs to the front and we're going to quickly change side we're going to repeat this circuit on the other side and then we're going to stretch to finish the class so please lean on the side of your body the rib cage is off the floor you can pick whichever arm is more comfortable for you just try to rest your head really gently on it this other arm is right here to check that we're not losing our balance and we're going to stretch the legs to the side on our next exhale lift your legs up breathing in we go down exhaling we go up inhaling we go down and again just a few more times to start activating the muscles and up and down on the next time that we're up i'm going to ask you to stay up there we open one leg and the other one as well and we find the center exhaling we switch inhaling we find the center keep on switching making sure that the more you open the front leg the more you open the back one as well so i suggest that we start with a tinier movement and open and we close two more and center and we open and close good guys release the tension from your legs bend your knees softly and push the mat far away from you now from here we position the hand in the same line with the knees and like we did before lift your pelvis off the ground stretching all the side of your back exhaling we find the mat again and breathing in draw a nice big rainbow exhaling collect yourself down on the mat only two more times and down one last time and down good guys nice we are going to bring the legs back to the center we're going to find the center of our mat now from this position stretch your leg to the front over cross the other one and let's take a nice lovely torsion looking far away still lengthening the back Here you can find the center again we can just let go of this knee and we can slightly bend to the front approaching to the front foot and each time that you breathe out try to let go even more with your back stretch the other leg and over crossing the opposite one to repeat again the torsion 
keep on lengthening your spine. Gently we can find the center, we can let go of the knee and we can just approach the front foot. Maybe we can try to really grab the toes if you can, flexing the foot to stretch the hamstrings in the back. Slowly we can start unrolling the spine, we can find the center, collecting the other leg, we can open the arms to the side, try to really lengthen your spine towards the ceiling and then drop the head to one side, like if the ear wants to find the same shoulder, Let's take a nice deep breath here. Maybe you can try to walk far away with the opposite fingertips and you should feel a nice pleasant stretching in the neck. And gently let go of your chin to go all the way towards the other side. So now the other ear wants to find the opposite shoulder a nice deep breath here as well and if you want we can walk far away with the opposite fingertips and slowly we can just go like back to the center and we're done with our class today i really hope you've enjoyed it and that i left you energized for your day if you did like my class please subscribe or drop a comment drop a thumb up and i wish you a lovely day